economics isn't just a list of topics, it's an approach to life, which I don't think a lot of people realize, it, and I didn't realize it, um, so I'm really excited for whatever approach I choose to take. I worry that people do not choose economics because they have this preconceived notion of what economics is, stocks and bonds, Wall Street. But you know, economics is the study of incentives, right? And so that factors in to all kinds of questions. Right now I'm doing something involving, you know, modeling the behavior of NBA teams while they're playing games. Um, and there are people who are evaluating charities using this stuff, and there are people who are pricing assets using this stuff, or measuring the effect of different public policies. Econ is so much the language that policymakers use. Being able to at least understand a bit of the formal theory complements and helps ground studies across many departments. Being able to kind of apply the, the framework that economics and, and also math forces you to think in has been one of the most useful things for me. The econ department in general, it's a lot more flexible than at a lot of other schools. You can really tailor it to what you want to focus in and there's a support system to make that a reality. I did some research for it the econ department at Yale to study the gender balance in undergrad econ programs and try and implement treatments that could attract more women. We have formed this group. We're hosting a variety of speakers to make it clear how, just how many paths there are from an econ degree and also show some of the work that women are doing. There's huge debate about gender parity, gender discrimination, so it feels really important and timely to me that I am working on this issue at the undergrad level. A must-take class in the econ department. A must-take class for anybody at Yale. It's American economic history. Economics of poverty alleviation. Probably intro macro. Um, dead serious. I was so surprised at how accessible these very intelligent, busy professors were. I was having trouble leading up to the midterm with this one concept, and the professor was like, okay, call me on my cell and we'll talk it out. And he was just so accessible and so helpful. And you realize the professor is on the short list to win the Nobel Prize, or he's being cited a lot. And we greatly expanded our opportunities for students to work with professors. We do offer a year-long uh, research program that pairs them up with individual faculty members. Uh, that can be done uh, either during the year, that's called the Tobin Research uh, Program, or it can be done uh, during the summer, and that's a SCARF research program. How do these relationships start? It starts with a knock on the door. My current research assistant, where did she come from? She knocked on my door and she said, in one of my other classes, I read a paper of yours and I wonder if I could be your research assistant. And the answer was yes. As an athlete, it was even more attractive. After you're done with school, there are so many different fields that involve things like sports business, um, sports marketing. As I mentioned, I'm pre-med and I'm actually going to medical school next year. What I realized through uh, studying health economics, doing my senior project, is that uh, there's a great need for people with economic background in healthcare to help give objective, data-driven opinions on what we should do next in healthcare in this country and, and throughout the world. The last two summers I've worked at a quantitative trading firm, um, and a lot of the projects I've done have been really similar to some of the tools that I've learned um, in both like econometrics and microeconomics type of classes. The tools that I've learned here have been super useful for that, and it's really cool to see that stuff kind of you know come to life. I'm definitely considering graduate school in economics, maybe working in a governmental position. You know, I'd, I'd even be interested in, in doing something in, in tech. There's a lot of room for uh, kind of really great data analysis. So in my junior year, I did the Herb Scar Research Fellowship, and that's when I realized that I would like to be a research assistant. My thesis was about um, an income support program for women in Pakistan. Well, currently, I'm co-authoring a paper on the opioid crisis. Economics methods can be applied to you know, all of these different fields. I never thought that I'd write a paper in public health, but very similar strategies that I learned in undergrad are applicable to this. I currently work at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, and I'm a research analyst for one of the financial economists. My projects have impacts on the stress tests and the effect of financial regulations on the banking sector. So I think the Yale Economics program did a really good job preparing me for this, particularly through taking econometrics courses. Yeah, yeah, they take many classes, they can work with different faculty, they can talk to many different students and learn about what's, what is what they want to do, and then they can do it right and be the best in the world. Are you interested in politics? Are you interested in health? Are you interested in what, what are your interests? Um, because I would bet economics has something to say about that.